all right, I woke up at like 8.53, and I was like, well, that's not too bad. Actually, maybe it was 8.43, and I was like, that's almost nine hours sleep. I should get up, go to the gym, but I couldn't get out of bed. And then it was like 11 a.m., and I'm like, I need to get out of bed, go to the gym, because I have a 12 o'clock call with a woman I met on LinkedIn. And then I realized, that ah, it's too late to go to the gym, so I just did the 12 o'clock call, and we talked. And we talked for 45 minutes, and then I'm like, okay, I don't have time to go to the gym, so I'll just leave now. Well, I had to have a shower. And then uh, the show, Grease, that Cheryl won tickets to. Hey, what's this? It's a scarf. One of the things I was about to complain about is that I forgot my scarf at home, but I just found this on the ground, so now it's my scarf. Um... I also missed the spot shaving, which is going to drive me crazy, and I didn't bring a razor. And if I don't make it to the show on time, it's not like a movie, you can just walk in, it's like live, so they're not going to let me in, and I have to wait for an usher thing. Uh, and Cheryl's mad, she's like texting, it took her an hour to get here, and I was much closer. Like, I mean, she's saying I'm much, I, I was much closer, because I am much closer. All right, uh, it's a good thing I'm not in the show, I guess. Small blessings. <laughs> take about 80 photos of Cheryl and then we forgot to use these so now we're gonna try this but now they're using it but I was giving them advice I said move forward because the lighting's better here so they're like oh thank goodness you're here we're experts now now we are in Basel Cheryl wanted to walk over here she has lots of uh, gluten and other issues I think oh here it is I'll tag them the Basel box oh my god I'm so hungry and I want to get this but I have no money and the passion fruit lychee. <laughs> look at that. How good does that look? She says she had a coupon for a free one. Where'd you get a coupon for a free one? Yelp event. Oh my god. She gets everything. She won tickets to the show. She got a free lychee. This is the girl you need to follow. No. So my friend Cheryl won tickets to Greece today and I loved it. And I loved Janelle. What's her name? Janelle Harris. She has seen every episode of Pretty Little Liars apparently. So she's my expert. So Janelle, if you come on my YouTube show and podcast, she'll come. I'll be there. Okay. Carol just pointed out this dog. Hello, dog. How cute are you? Hello. You're famous now. You have anything to say? You can't hear me. Well, because you're a dog, first of all. Uh, you can see What's... Yeah, oh, I'll zoom, okay. Uh, his owner is back, so he's okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, dog. Thanks for being in my show. He's like a giant Muppet. We're gonna try this Jedi challenge and somehow they've teamed up with Melissa DeMarco and it's a virtual reality thing and I think she just said we could win tickets to the movie tomorrow that would be insane all right here we go all right we're in the truck now I chatted with the, uh, the producer because I met her when I was giving Melissa some footage an interview I did of the two of us at TIFF and we're very excited this is to win Star Wars tickets with the, uh, the, the guy who's working for the show here. He was explaining the three reasons that people like my ad and, and that they're so friendly to me. I'll explain it when I'm home. It's too cold right now to talk about it. Swing at it. Whoa, whoa. Here she goes. Oh. oh, she's a Jedi master. All right, I decided to walk through the Eaton Center for some warmth and also because it's just such a happy place. And maybe I'll make new friends. That's unlikely. But if I put my toque back on, I would get lots of smiles. But that's cheating. I got myself some groceries at the Rexall drugstore there. Uh, some bread, some f water flavorer, some eggs. Very exciting things. I feel like a man of luxury. Well, this is exciting. I haven't had a present on my door for a couple years when my neighbor, uh, Allie, sometimes left me gifts, but she has moved since. So what could this be? I have a feeling it might be Kathleen. Look what I bought. I bought a box of eight burgers at the drugstore. I normally wouldn't do that. It doesn't sound that healthy, but it just sounded good. And they were on sale for like 11 bucks. And I'm making some rice and veggies too, so I don't get scurvy. Oh, I can't do this. I'm too tired. I want to tell you about the things the producer guy said about my hat my Ernie hat and then the elevator girl asked if the nose was stuffed and I showed her oh yeah there's cotton inside 
I was gonna go to bed at nine o'clock. I'm not sure what happened. You know what happened? This phone, just looking at videos and Facebook. Oh, it's so addictive. I've got to. Anyways, should I? I guess I should open Kathleen's present. I want to save this till the morning, but let's just do this now, so you know she's not kept waiting, um, and so I can dream about it. Now, first, it's a Hanukkah present. There's Jewish stars on it. Now, this might mean that she's very anti-Semitic. It's possible that Kathleen knows I'm a Jew and she's mocking my religion, my deeply held religious beliefs. Or maybe she's just being nice and giving me a Hanukkah present. So let's find out here. What do we got? We have gift paper with Jewish stars and dreidels and Hanukkah gelt. And uh, more Hanukkah gelt. I love gelt because I'm a Jew. What else do we have here? Oh, wait, what's this? What's this? Oh my god! It's a Spider-Man Pez! I love Spider-Man! I got rid of all my Spider-Man stuff, like my Spider-Man Pez. Years ago, I took it to Walmart, or not, not Walmart. I took it to Goodwill, because I don't even know why. I was stupid. But this is fantastic! Oh my god. I'm Spider-Man. So far, so good. What else we got? Feels like Tupperware. It is Tupperware. What's in it? Oh, it's cold on my bare skin. Uh, I don't want to break the lid. Ah, ah. It kind of smells like cheese. What is it? Is it? What is it? Oh my god. That's not cheese. Those are brownies. It's chocolate. Let's see what else. I'm reaching in. What's this? Silver string lights. Dazzling LED lights on a silver wire. 20 LEDs with a timer. How pretty! Oh my god, that's gonna be so... That might be it. I, she said something in a Facebook thing about, oh, I thought you might like the lights. Uh, and I didn't read more because I didn't want spoilers. Oh, oh! Batteries, presumably, for the lights, not for the... And it all came in this gift bag, and it says, Happy Hanukkah. And then it says, uh, uh, Hey Josh, Happy Hanukkah, thanks for being a new friend. K, that's Kathleen. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that seems to be acceptable. Uh, if she had said, Hey, Happy Hanukkah, thanks for being a Jew friend, that might have been a little suspicious, but a new friend is accurate. So, thanks, Kathleen. Okay, time for sleep. I'll probably take some cold medicine because I've been sneezing and congested a bit. And who knows what that even means. It seems to be just like my permanent state. Uh, tomorrow we'll talk a bit more about the Ernie hat. I'll tell you about the call I had with that woman today and the advice I gave her for social... I will uh, edit the vlog from two weeks ago and hopefully catch up with posting all of these vlogs on my Facebook and YouTube. So Jen24 can watch. I have a theory about her. By the way, 24th is also the birth date of the first girl I ever kissed. So, it's another reason 24 is an interesting number for me. I think Gen 24 might actually be one of my gens, but she doesn't want to watch, you know, my vlogs on my Instagram or Facebook, like in re because you can see who's viewed your thing, and she's not on my Facebook anymore, even though my Facebook is public. No, but I still... Oh, yeah, even though I haven't been posting on YouTube, I haven't been posting on Facebook either. So she hasn't been able to see it, and she knows that if she views in Instagram or Facebook, it'll show up as a view. And she gave a fake Hotmail address, you know, because she doesn't want to be known. But the Gen 24 was like a clue. Very interesting. Or completely delusional. All right, good night.